good morning students good morning to all and last day we have studied about the extension and the contraction of demand i think you have studied it so today also just we have remained about the extension and the contraction of demand after that we will go to the next concepts okay the extension and the contraction of demand so the quantity amount of demand will be changed on the big because of or on the basis of the price of the commodity only so the changes in the quantity demanded for a commodity due to the change in the price alone are called extension and contraction of demand in other word if you want to say the buying more at lower price and less at higher prices is known as extension and contraction of demand we have studied in our law of demand so whenever the price of the commodity is going to change on the basis of the change only the demand for that commodity will be increased and after that we have studied some of the other determinants are there so except to the other determinants if the quantity demanded or the amount of demanded for the commodity is changed on the basis of the price alone only is extension and contraction of the demand so extension and contraction means so the increasing and the decreasing of the demand curve so only by the reason of price of that commodity okay that is called the movement along demand curve the quantity amount of commodity only will be extend or will be decrease on the movement of along the demand curve the demand curve will not be change but the amount of quantity of commodity only will be change just to see the diagram so the diagram so the price is p1 so the quantity amount will be in oq so the price of commodity in op1 the quantity commodity will be in oq suppose if the price is decreased from p1 to p2 the quantity amount will be increase from oq to oq2 like that if the price is decreased to the p3 the quantity amount also will be increased q3 but the demand curve always will be there will not be the change it will be always the same okay here we have to note one thing the demand curve along the demand curve only the quantity demanded commodity will be increase so the demand curve will not change it will be constant okay so the commodity so the quantity demanded commodity is increased or decreased only by the reason of price that is called contraction or extension of demand curve okay, next is shift and demand curve the totally demand curve will be shift from the existing place for example from a to b or b to c totally the demand curve will be changed from the place that is called shift in demand curve a shift in the demand curve occurs with a change in the value of variables other than its price in the general demand function so normally we have studied in the general demand function so on the basis of price of the commodity only the demand will be determined and other other than we have studied some of the other determinants are there suppose if the demand for any of the commodity is changed by the reason of other factors except the price is called shift in demand curve and increase or decrease in demand due to changes in condition of demand is shown by way of shift in the demand curve just to see the first diagram so the price is o to p1 op1 
so there the price is never changed okay but even though the quantity amount for that commodity is increased from oq to oq1 so when we are increasing the quantity amount of commodity so the demand curve will be decreased from a to b so the demand curve totally shift their place from a to b so we can draw the two demand diagram so d d one diagram demand di demand curve and d1 and d1 is also one of the demand curve first when the price is op1 level so our quantity amount of commodity is oq1 so the demand curve is focused in the point a so but even though when the price is not changed our quantity demand is decreased so we can consider here so the income of the people are the taste and the preference of the consumers and the weather conditions and the advertisement so except the price because the price is not changed okay so with even there is no change in the price level if the demand curve is changed that is called shift in demand curve so now the demand curve is shift from point a to point p okay totally the demand curve is shifted from point a to point p so like that so the increasing the demand curve suppose if the price is same so when the price is same so the quantity demanded will be increased from oq1 to oq2 here the demand curve will be shifted shifted means so it is increased from point a to point p so first diagram the demand curve is reduced from point a to point p so second one is increased the demand curve totally increased so because of the consumer of the income may be increased and the taste and the preference of the consumer may be changed and the advertisement may be induced to the consumer to consuming the more commodities okay so the demand curve totally increased so we must know the difference between the shift in demand curve and the extension and contraction of the demand so the extension and the contraction of demand will be occurs only the changes in the quantity demanded for a commodity due to the change in the price alone because of the price alone if the demand curve is changed or if the demand is increased that is called extension and contraction of demand so but the shift in the demand curve will be occurs when the price is being equal and the other determinants of demand is increased it will happen okay next we have studied the elasticity of demand the law of demand explains the direction of change in demand due to change in the price but it fails to explain the rate of change in demand due to a given change in price when the price is increased or decreased when the price is changed in which ratio or in which rate the change in demand will be occurs is not explained so the elasticity of demand only explain the rate of change in quantity demanded due to a given change in price for example even the one rupees is increased in any of the commodities sometime the higher demand will be arise sometime the lower demand only will be arise so you like that suppose if the price is decreased just uh, 50 paise or 1 rupees or 2 rupees so the degree of or the rate of change in demand will be explained by the elasticity of demand so the elasticity of demand is therefore a technical term used by the economist to describe the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded for a commodity to a change in its price so when uh, when price of one commodity is changed the quantity demand also will be changed but this elasticity of demand will be used to in which rate the quantity demand is going to change on the basis of changing on the price of that commodity so the elasticity of demand just we will 
if you want to keep in your mind just easily the elasticity means just elastic elastic means some of the flexibilities okay so in which rate the demand the demand in quantity of commodity will be arisen so in this elasticity of demand the five types of the four types of the elasticity of demand are there first price elasticity of demand next income elasticity of demand and class elasticity of demand fourth one is advertising elasticity of demand first we will study about the price elasticity of demand so students before that we have to study the degrees of price elasticity of demand so first one is perfectly elastic demand perfectly elastic demand so the price elasticity of demand is commonly known as elasticity of demand because the price only is the most determinant of the demand so the price elasticity of demand is considered as the elasticity of demand so it refers to the degree of responsiveness of demand to change in the price of the commodity so first the perfectly elastic demand so the perfectly elastic demand mean when the price is increase or decrease or even a little bit of increase or decrease in the price of the commodities the demand will be increase or perfectly elastic the demand is said to be perfectly elastic when a slight change in the price of a commodity causes an infinite change in its quantity demanded for example suppose if any of the prices increase or decrease even a 1 rupees the demand for that commodity will be increase as infinity infinity means so we can't bring out the ending point so because if the price is decrease for example we can say the gold the price of the gold is just increase so the people always want to buy more gold because on the basis of the speculative effect too so on the basis of the speculative effect too the people want to purchase more or what can we say okay just the price for that means is just increase or decrease the peoples will buy more such as even a small rise in price of a commodity can result in greater fall in demand even to zero in some cases a little fall in the price can result in the increase in demand to infinity so here the price is just op only but the quantity demand is going to increase without any flexibilities so in perfectly elastic the demand curve is a horizontal straight line parallel to x axis okay so the demand curve always will be a straight line parallel to the x axis because there is no stopping point to the demand because of increasing or changes in the slight changes in the price of the commodities next is perfectly inelastic so here even the price is increased or decreased even a little or more so the quantity demanded will not be changed so when there is no change in the demand for a product due to the change in the price then the demand is said to be perfectly inelastic inelastic mean so there is no need to being as a demand for that commodities okay even the price is increase or decrease okay when the price is op so the demand curve is same when the price is increased to op2 op1 the quantity demand is same after that the price is increased from op2 op2 the quantity demand is not changed for the example so now many of the patients are taking the tablet now the sugar sugar patients are taking their tablets daily okay but daily they have to take the two or 
three times per times one tablet only they will take okay but in this time if the price of that tablet is decreased they will never buy more tablets because they need only one tablet per day okay so even the price is increased they will never stop to taking that tablet okay because if they are stopping the tablet it will be affect their human body okay so if it is increased they will taking more effort to buy that commodities and if the price of that commodity is decreased they will less to spending their money to purchase that tablet okay so even the price is increased or decreased when the price is changed in the price of uh, commodities there is no change arise in this quantity demanded that is called price inelastic perfectly inelastic okay so when the price is increased and decreased but the quantity demand is not changed here the demand curve is a vertical straight line okay here so first we have studied the perfectly elastic perfectly elastic means the demand is demand will be more infinity okay so the demand curve will be the straight line parallel to the x axis here the opposite of the elastic there is no elastic there is no flexibilities okay so the quantity demanded the demand curve will be in straight line vertical straight line which shows that the demand remains unchanged irrespective of change in the price okay so irrespective of the changes in the price of that commodities there is no change in the quantity amount of the demanded okay the best example the tablets the demand for the tablets even the price of the tablet is increased or decreased so the patient will never buy more or less okay they must eat the tablet so they will not consider about the price of that commodities so the quantity demanded will never change this uh, situation is called as perfectly inelastic perfectly inelastic mean there is no flexibility in the quantity demanded of commodity okay next relatively elastic demand so the demand is relatively elastic when the proportionate change in the demand for a commodity is greater than the proportionate change in its price so now the price of that any commodity is slightly changes so the quantity demanded the amount of quantity demanded will be more than the changes in the price level okay so when the price is changes just one or two rupees so the quantity amount will be increased than the relative changes of price in commodities okay just to see the price is when the price is op1 so the quantity amount is oq0 okay but the when the price is just decreased from op2 the quantity demand is increased more than the decreasing the, the rate of decreasing the price level okay so when the quantity demanded is very higher than the changes of price level of the commodities that is called relatively elastic demand so the price is just decrease the quantity amount will be more than the changes of the price in commodity here the demand curve is gradually sloping so the demand curve see the demand curve the demand curve is gradually sloping gradually sloping means so when the price level is very small but the quantity demand of the commodity is very higher so which shows that the proportionate change in a quantity from 5 to 10 is greater than the proportionate change in the okay so the point suppose if you are considering the gap between the point p1 to p2 is the 5 so we can consider the points the gap between the quantity amount added of q2 to q1 is 10 when the changes rate is just increased or decreased in 5 unit so the quantity demanded will be increased under 10 units
okay because the quantity demanded is very higher than the changes in the price level that is called relatively elastic demand so next relatively inelastic relatively inelastic this is the opposite form of relatively elastic in relatively elastic when the price level may be increase or decrease at a lower level but the quantity demanded may be in higher than the price level okay but here the relatively inelastic when the price of commodity is higher the quantity amounted the demand for the quantity of commodities will be very less than the price level okay so the price for that one commodity is increased from p1 to p2 but the amount of quantity of commodity is just increased from oq to oq1 okay so when we are comparing the gap between the price changes and the price level from op1 to op2 so the quantity of demanded the uh, changes in the quantity demanded of commodity is very lower okay so just the reason of decreasing the price level only so the quantity demand will be increase otherwise it will not be increase for example suppose we are going to the market and even if there is no need of some commodities we will buy that commodities only for the reason of price is very low okay just we are going to the market to buy the apple only okay but and we are asking the price of the orange so the orange rate is very cheap so even if there is no need we will buy some amount of apple right sir orange right because only for the reason is price is very low so we will buy just one or two kilo only for the reason of cheap rate okay so when the price rate is increased more and the quantity demanded of commodity is just increased or less than the price level of the commodities it is called relatively inelastic so the demand will be change but when we are comparing to the changes of the price of that commodities the changes of quantity demand of commodity is very less that is called relatively inelastic relatively inelastic mean so related to the price it will not be have never or more demand that is called relatively inelastic next unitary elastic so unitary elastic mean the demand is unitary or the demand is will be equally the demand is unitary elastic when the proportionate change in the price of a product result in the same proportionate change in the quantity demanded so whenever the price is increased so on the basis of increasing the rate of change on the basis of rate of change in the price of the commodity only the same quantity demanded of commodity will be changed okay for example the price of one commodity is increased just one unit so the quantity demand for that commodity also will be increased as one unit okay suppose now the price for that one kilo apple is just 10 rupees we will by just 1 kilo okay so normally the price of that commodity is reduced to 1 point 5 rupees mean so we will be increased just 2 kilo like that the basis so on the basis of increasing the uh, changes on the price of that commodity the quantity demanded also will be increased as same proportionate is called unitary elastic okay just the one unit of price is increased from op0 to op1 so the quantity demanded also will be increased from oq0 to oq1 okay so in this demand curve here the shape of demand curve is a rectangular hyperbola so if you are drawing the demand curve so it will be creating the rectangular 
hyperbola which shows that area under the curve equal to OQ1 to OP1 is equal to OP0 to OQ0. So the quantity demand curve, the, the quantity of uh, quantity demanded of the commodity will always will be equal to the price of that commodity. Okay, student, just one of the comparison, not a comparison. Just when we are seeing this table, we can easily understand the price elasticity, the types of elasticity of demand. Okay, first the perfectly elastic. So the perfectly elastic, the numerical value is elasticity of price is equal to infinity. Okay, so here change in demand is infinite at a given price. So whatever price may be there, so the, the whatever change in the price of that commodity is, the demand will be infinite. Okay, even the 1 rupees or 1 unit or 2 rupees increase or decrease. So the elasticity of the demand will be at infinity. So the shape of the demand curve always will be the horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. Next, the perfectly inelastic. So in the perfectly inelastic is mentioned as a numerical value. So elasticity of price. So E means elasticity, P means price. So the elasticity of price is equal to zero. Zero means so the demand remains unchanged, whatever be the change in price. Even the price of the commodity is increased or decreased, so the demand curve will not be changed. Here, the shape of the demand curve will be the vertical, okay, because there is no change. Next, the unitary elastic. So the unitary elastic is so the numerical value of the uh, unitary elastic is elasticity of price is equal to 1, okay. Here the change in quantity is equal to change in percentage of change in price. So here the shape of the demand curve will be as a rectangular hyperbola. Next inelastic. Inelastic will mean so the inelastic is mentioned in this numerical value. The zero the elasticity of price is greater than the zero and less than the one. So here the demand curve is just steeper. Next, the elastic, elastic demand. So here the elasticity of price is less than infinity and greater than 1. Okay. So the if the elasticity of demand have to be more than 1, is considered as a elastic demand curve. So here the shape of the demand curve will be a flat. Okay student, if you have any doubt, please ask me here. Thank you.